Back in 2015, one brother blasted off into space where he would spend the next 340 days in orbit aboard the ISS, while his twin brother remained back on solid Earth, much to the excitement of NASA researchers. Identical twins Mark and Scott Kelly have almost identical genomes and similar life experiences with parallel careers at NASA. Researchers were hoping that the results could shed more insight into the physical perils of long space flight. And now the results are in. Well, preliminary results. It may take years to officially publish all of the experiments and research that took place, but scientists have already noted differences in the brothers in their various biological markers, from chromosomes to the microbiomes in their guts. When Scott returned to Earth, his telomeres, the protective caps at the end of their chromosomes, were unexpectedly longer than his brothers. The telomeres have since returned to their pre-space lengths, but researchers are now studying the telomeres of other astronauts to determine if there's a pattern. What else? Okay, bear with me here. DNA methylation is a chemical marker in DNA that can affect gene expression. Basically, it's the instructions that allow your genes to know what kind of gene they'll be, you know, an eyeball cell rather than a skin cell, or whether you should eat a lot all of a sudden. Well, that chemical decreased in Scott Kelly during his time in space and increased in Mark over the same period. Levels for both men have since returned to pre-flight levels again, but researchers are not yet sure what those changes mean. And there are more changes. In fact, in almost every single experiment, and the data is so fresh, they're still coming off the sequencing machines, they've noticed differences. And now researchers will be looking to gather data from other astronauts in an attempt to determine how much of the changes are a result of time spent in space and how much are other factors. Before this twin experiment, it had already been observed that astronauts see differences in their circulation and eyesight and also their bone and muscle mass if they spend long periods in zero gravity. NASA is keen to learn more about the impact of zero gravity on the human body with the idea of eventually attempting long space flights, perhaps in a journey to Mars. And now, you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.